Hey guys, welcome to Math Outside of, Outside of School. Today we're going to be talking about flipping, sliding, and turning objects, and seeing how they look after we have done that specific action to it. So, let's take a look at our schedule. Today we're going to be talking about our learning target, our key vocabulary. We're going to be talking about flip, slide, and turn. I'm going to give you guys a challenge problem, and then we're going to end with a joke of the day. So, let's take a look at our one learning target for the day, and it is... Tell if objects have been flipped, turned, or slid. Those are all in the past tense, so the, the present tense for those would be flip, turn, and slide. Okay? Let's take a look at our vocabulary now, our key vocabulary. All right, the first one is flip. This is to make an object turn over. To make an object turn over. Next one is slide. Slide means to move an object from one side, or from side to side, excuse me, from side to side. And last, turn, to rotate an object like a clock turns. Let's turn. Okay, now we're actually going to take them and flip them, turn them, and uh, we're going to slide them. So the first one I'm going to talk about is slide. So when we slide an object, we slide it from side to side, we take that object and we just move it straight to the left, to the right. We could even slide it up or down. So I would take it and slide it over. Now you can notice that, what about these shapes? Well. The shapes look exactly the same. They're in the same position as they were. These are two congruent shapes right now, but if we just take this one and slide it over, it would look the same. Sliding looks like this. So it ends up looking the same. Okay. Well, then we're going to talk about turn now. So if we're talking about turn, I have, two, I have an object here that looks kind of like a, a rhombus. Okay. Um, I don't know if it quite is. We'll just call it a quadrilateral. Mr. Luke didn't do a very good job of cutting. So if I were to turn this, we want to turn, like I said, a clock turns. Okay, we can also turn counterclockwise, but we'll just turn like a clock turns. So that might look like this after we turn it. Okay, if I turn it some more, it might look like that. Even though we have turned it, it's still the same shape. All we're doing is rotating it. So, these two shapes, even though they're in different positions, they're rotated, this and this are congruent. They're exactly the same. They are just in a different position. So that slide, turn like a clock, almost like it's rolling over. Our last one is flip. When we flip an object, oops, I'll do it like this, I'll turn, like a clock. So when we flip an object, we actually take it and flip it on its side. So if I were to do a flip, I might, let's see if I can do one, I might do kind of like a cartwheel, Ooh, I don't know, Mr. Luke. <laughs> kind of like that. I'm not so good at cartwheels anymore, but that's what we're actually doing. Turning my head and putting it to the ground and my legs up in the air. So if we were to flip this, we would actually, it would look like, boom, like that. i got to move the tape to the other side, but we would be flipping it like that. So this would look exactly like a flip. It's going to almost be opposite this time. Are these shapes congruent? Yes, they are. They're still exactly the same. They're just in a different order. Hmm, what could we write for flip? Maybe like this? Shh, shh. What do you think, Miss Heather? Flip? That Ooh. works. Okay. So slide, turn, flip. Does it have to be a black triangle to slide? No. Watch what I do here. I'm going to make a slide here. Sorry, I gotta move the tape around, guys. So if I make a flip, 
I go flip and let's make a turn here. Look like this. I'm going to rotate it like a car. And that's a turn. Alright. So it doesn't matter what shape we're using, we can flip, turn, or slide them. Okay? If we slide, we go like this. If we turn, we spin in a circle. And a flip might be a cartwheel. Alright? Alright boys and girls, for your challenge problem today, it's going to be a fun one, but it's going to be quite difficult. You'll have the whole weekend to complete it, so we'll see what you can do. What you're going to actually do is create a video and upload it to YouTube, just like I've been doing. Um, except your video is going to be about singing a song or doing a rap about flip, slide, and turn. I've placed some uh, videos that other people and other students have made in the description below. So if you want some examples, click down there. Um, as you can see, there's a list of things that you need to do in order to complete this. Uh, first, you check the examples, then brainstorm for what you want to do. You can work with friends if you want. Um, then tape your video and song or song and post it to YouTube. After you do that, send me the link and I will add it to my YouTube page. And last, earn lots of bill bucks. I'm talking lots, so I'm excited to see what you got. Okay guys, to finish it off, we have a word of the day that I want you to write down to make sure I know that you watch the video. So please write down the word cartwheel like Mr. Luke's bad cartwheel he did. Maybe you can do a better one. And our joke of the day is, why is six afraid of seven? It's because seven ate nine. <laughs>